practicing a dry run for homemade basic white bread with the bread machine that my friend loaned me. Keep your fingers crossed that it works. I will post a picture one way or another of what it looks like when it's done. Hi everyone! Today we're going to learn how to make bread with a bread machine. I borrowed a bread machine from my neighbor. They were graciously let me use it. We did a dry run yesterday and we made some basic white bread and it came out perfect. I'm very excited to be able to do this with you. And we're going to do a French bread in the bread machine. Let's get baking. Bread machine. It is my neighbor's. I'm going to move it away so I can open it. I'm going to put the basket in. And you're going to insert every ingredient into the basket. Make sure the basket is locked in. The basket is now locked in. I'm going to start adding all the ingredients and then we're going to plug it in and then we're going to follow the controls on the front of the bread machine. Here is the recipe for the French bread and you got to follow it exactly. I have silk rising flour, same thing as the bread flour, so I can omit the yeast. We're going to need water one cup or two tablespoons between 75 and 85 degrees, two teaspoons of butter or margarine, three and a quarter cups of bread flour, one tablespoon of sugar, one and a half teaspoons of salt. And you have to be exact with measurements and put it in one by one into the basket here. And it's really neat. It's going to knead the dough and then it's going to rise it and then it's going to cook. It is pretty cool. We did a dry run yesterday. Next thing you're going to do is dump in the water. And two tablespoons equals one cup, according to the recipe chart. I used my thermometer to make sure it was between the temperatures desired. The next ingredient that they want you to add in is two tablespoons of butter or margarine. And it says softened, so you have to be exact and do not melt your butter. I'm going to cut out two tablespoons from my butter here and I'm going to soften it in the microwave. Two tablespoons will probably take about 13 seconds. The butter is softened and dump it right on in. Now we're going to add the bread flour and it's three and a quarter cups. And you need to be exact. I have my Measuring cups and spoons from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to use this one three times. Then I'm going to use my actual measuring cup by Prex with dump in first cup and repeat the process until all the bread flour or self rising flour is in the basket. This is the third cup. And now we need the quarter of a cup. And it's just easier to use the measuring cup for that part. So I'm not fiddling around with all the cups because they don't make the labels on the measuring cups easy to read. The quarter of the cup is that very first line here. I wish they were red so I can see them. And in goes a quarter of a cup. And 
making sure all the ingredients are in. We need a tablespoon of sugar and one and a half teaspoons of salt. I have my sugar handy. Dump an iron. Now for one and a half teaspoons of salt. Now we're going to close the lid up. And we're going to get it ready to start working. Well, you can see me close the lid down. It says to plug it in. I'm really glad I did a dry run yesterday so I knew what I was doing. Now I'm going to have my husband come in and we're going to get the controls going. My husband's out here and we're going to turn this on together. Turn it on. Yep, there it is, three, three, almost four hours. And the color, now what do you want, medium? Medium. It's already there. And then two pound or 1.5 pound? I was gonna say it's two pounds. Okay. And then what you gotta do, is, is the bread in there? It's plugged in and uh, it's, all the mix is in there. So you Just start it, ready? Here we go, pressing start. It'll be needing it for a long and time. And when it beeps, I'm supposed to take the dough out gradually then put it back in and then it's going to heat up and start baking. It's pretty awesome. I can peek into it because it stopped mixing from the other room. I can hear it stop. Now, I've never used one of these before until last night, and the dough looked like it was having trouble building into a dough ball, so I made sure that the water was the correct temperature for it, and it's moving again. I added a little more. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Dough stops spinning and kneading. With your clean hands, I recommend putting a little bit of flour on them. So you can easily get it out. Because this part, you want to lift up the bread. Just like this. And then you're going to put it back in. And you're going to shut it. And then you're just going to let it do its magic. And so you can see the time is counting down and it's going to gradually heat up and you're going to smell bread baking in your house. It's going to smell incredible. When it gets a little closer to the time being done, we're going to show you how to throw together some homemade creamy butter to go on the bread. It is done. I'm going to carefully turn it around here so we can open the lid. I'm going to unplug it. It's going to be very hot. You'll get a face blast, so be very, very careful. It looks pretty decent, but I'm a little concerned because I had to add the extra water to the bread and stir it a couple of times. So we're going to take it out and plate it so you can see what it looks like. The first loaf came out pretty decently. Now I'm going to attempt to take out the second one. I grabbed a plate. I'm going to put on a pot holder too because I don't want to burn my hand because it tells you all kinds of cautions here. It did like a half a loaf. And put it down on the plate. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Here's what it looks like on the plate. I'm going to slice some up. 
the basket releases itself when it's done doing all of the work. Looks like that is what it looks like sliced. I'm going to keep practicing this. As I said, I've never used bread machine before in my life, except for yesterday was the first time. This was the second attempt. I'm going to try it a couple more times while I have the bread machine in my home. And my husband's going to look into getting one probably from Amazon. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Tastes really good. It's not the prettiest, but it's delicious. Mmm.